Hello and welcome to my Sith commentary on YouTube. Um, if you've watched before, again, cheers for watching and hopefully you enjoy this episode. Uh, this episode is on the my championship team I've just recently made. Um, it's got a few uh, team of the year players, obviously from the team of the year um, come out recently. They haven't listed it yet, which is kind of annoying, but these are a few of them from from that team. Um, yeah, it's 75 rating, four stars, um, 92 team chemistry. Ain't too bad. Probably could get that up a bit if I added a few gold players, but I wanted to keep it all silver apart from the team year players. Um, the manager, some Portuguese dude, don't know who he is. Um, he's just got the full one two on two card. He was 200 coins for get him. Add 10 chemistry, that'll do. Ain't too fast, to be honest. So obviously full one two on two formation. Um, let's get started. Um, the goalkeeper, team of the year, Paddy Kenny. Um, obviously, I had to get him in my team. Um, he's a great player to have. Really good shot stopper. I do like this guy. And obviously, his name's Paddy. So, um, as you probably might have guessed, my nickname's Paddy. So, yeah, that's a good thing to have. And I like I like having him in the team, especially team of the year one. He only cost me about four grand, so it wasn't too bad. Um, then you got left back Ryan Bertrand. Ex he played for Reading last season. He's his parent club's Chelsea at the moment. He got, he's just started uh, playing for them actually. I mean, this one's a Notts Forest one. That he played for them for the first um, half of the season, and now he's gone back to Chelsea to start playing. I reckon he's the next Ashley Cole. He's fantastic for Reading last season. He played, I think, something like 54 games for us last season, and a really key part to our team getting to the um, FA Cup quarterfinals. And yeah, and he was a brilliant player for us last season. I sort of miss him. And then you got Matt Kilgallen, centre back for Middlesbrough. Um, he's probably one of the best centre backs. Although he's not rated it, he's probably the, my favourite centre back in the Championship. He's brilliant. He's got everything: 79, 79 pace, 69 defender. Not amazing, but it doesn't really matter defending. You just press B and it'll tackle him and next so forth. 81 heading, which is really good to have because he's um, good at beating a lot of players to the head. Um, and then you got Clark Carlisle of uh, Burnley. This guy's uh, pretty snazzy. He's uh, got really good heading, good all-round defender, good player to have on your team, and I, I do like this. He's also a very smart footballer more than one way. He has uh, obviously um, on a lot of like countdown and that sort of thing. So yeah, a very smart footballer in real life. Anyway, um, right back you've got Carl Norton. Um, currently at Leicester, having a, a brilliant last three months he's been fantastic um bit surprised that he got on team of the year because he's only been at leicester for three months so yeah kind of surprised that happened um but i'm not sure what he was doing for the previous half of the season he might have been in another championship club that's probably why he's got in it um but yeah he's got really good pace 82 or something like that so yeah squeeze it right back and then you got sent defensive mid um thompson from middlesbrough um, pretty solid all-round player, a good player to have at uh, centre defence mid. Obviously, 74 rating, right highest rating right you can get for us. Silver player, so yeah, not a bad player to have at um, centre defence mid. And then you got Scott Sinclair, best season in life he's having. He transferred to um, Swansea for a l very cheap money, something like 600,000 coins uh, pounds or something like that, which is very cheap. And um, he's proved to be an amazing signing for them. And um, Hopefully he's in the championship next year because he's probably going to be playing Red in the playoffs, and I don't want them to win that. Maybe Reading can sign him without their payout for him anyway. Um, Liam Lawrence, right mid, um, been playing the Premier League for a few year, a few years now, but he's recently gone down to Portsmouth. Um, I really like this guy. I'm currently making an Ireland team, sort of. The Irish players which are in this squad will go into my Ireland team, um, but I won't be doing a commentary on that because I've already done something on that before. Um, Got good, decent pace, only about 70 or so, but his shooting's like 70 something, and then he's got 77 passing, which is really good. I mean, his free kicks are pretty good. I scored one of them recently. And then he got the best player in the championship, probably the best rated player, too. Well, definitely is, actually. Uh, 82 center attack in midfield, Adel Torat. Team of the Year version. It cost me something like 67,500 coins. That's only recently though, so it might be if you're watching this and it's a bit less than that, that's probably why because I bought him within the first couple of days of him coming out. And then he's got 82 pace, 85 pass, and 85 shooting, 8 and 90 dribbling. I mean, for a championship player, that's outstanding. It is amazing stats for a championship player. And he scored a couple for me in my first game, so yeah, I'm happy with him. Same for this guy, he scored a couple for me in his first game. Grant Holt, another team of the year version. 
Um, he's a brilliant player. Um, 85 shooting, I think he's got on this one. is fantastic to have. Um, a great striker to have. Strong, good, decent winning headers. Amazing shot. So, yeah, I'm glad I got him for the team. I only paid about 10k for him with a 95 contract. So, yeah, I'm happy about having him for that. And, again, obviously, I got him recently. So, if the price has gone down, not my fault. <laughs> And then you got Shane Long, other striker, my favourite player in the whole world. He is a fantastic player. A bit of a blip lately, not scored him for. Going a bit down, but hopefully uh, he'll, uh, he's just saving it for the playoffs and we'll go win the playoffs, hopefully. But he's got 87 pace, really quick, really quick for a silver player. And then you got his shooting ain't the best and his heading ain't the best, but in real life he's fantastic at both. And I mean, um, his shooting isn't as bad as you'd think it was a 63. It's much better than that is one of them things but yeah that's my start in 11 and uh get onto the bench you got team of the week mcdonald i think it was in it this week or last week was in team of the week um he's having a decent spell lately scoring a few goals so 83 shooting that's his standout stat i mean that's a brilliant thing to have for a championship player um but yeah he's a replacement for either holt or long but um didn't think he I'd have him in the start lineup because I like Shane Long much better and he brings down the chemistry too. Um, then you got Doyley right back for Watford, a, a decently quick player. He's got 80 pace, I mean it's not too bad for a right back. Um, he's just cover for both full backs in case they get knackered or injured or something like that. Um, yeah, and you got Federici as the backup goalkeeper. Redden of course, just got back in the squad like in the last... You know, last game against Coventry and got clean sheet so good start if he can push on a real, real force in the playoffs and save a lot of shots that will be brilliant for Redden I think you know, Grant McCann of uh, Burnley 70 pace, 74 heading, 73 passing for a centre mid ain't too bad, 71 rating I mean he's a right player to have again he's in my Ireland squad like Shane Long and Liam Lawrence um, the next one you got Jimmy Keeby also of Redden um, really quick this guy you might not see him as much. I think they, they can make him a little bit quicker. But I think he's a really good player to have at right mid. I bring. I like to start with Lawrence. Wear down the defender and stick on Kibi sort of 60, 70 minutes. And then full throttle pace on the right hand side. Um, and then you got um, backup for another backup centre mid. And that's uh, Ramsey. And he's got all good stats. I mean, he had a fantastic... I'm doing this commentary on the day of Arsenal beating a... Man United and obviously he's got the winner so he could be uh, in team of the week on Wednesday um, Michael I'm saying I think he deserves to be he had a good game today and Arsenal obviously deserves to beat Man United I think um, I'm sure people would disagree with me but that's my view and then finally Craig Bellamy to cover up left hand side and right hand side if needs to be but it may, mainly if you cover in Scott Sinclair I could have started him but I thought Scott Sinclair, Silver, so I'll have him in the team instead. 86 pace, 80 shooting, really good player to have on the left-hand side, and I do like to bring him on, So, because uh, um, he's a good impact sub, and he's also good at starting too. But yeah, that's my championship team. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll be doing one in the future. Thanks.